A manual gearbox and a sporty BMW typically make for a great combination. Over the years, BMW has made some wonderful driving machines and the act of driving those cars delivers joy through the mechanical man-machine connection. The latest car to deliver on this experience is the BMW M2. And it sounds like it will also be the last one to do so as well. Word is that the new M2 will be the last M-badged vehicle to be offered with a manual gearbox. This is a strong way to go out at least as the M2 is a heck of a machine. The six speed stick is standard and it backs up a twin turbocharged inline six that produces 435 horsepower and 406 pound-feet of torque. You can get it with an eight speed automatic if you prefer and it's probably still a blast with that gearbox but the manual version should be a joy to drive. BMW is looking to add more electrification to its lineup, be it in full battery electrics or with plug-in hybrid models. And the automaker doesn't see a manual gearbox as a necessary component for such vehicles. It's not just the manual going away either, as BMW is also going to be done with dual clutch transmissions. Some non-M models could have manual transmissions for a bit longer, but as far as future M products are concerned, it sounds like the row-it-yourself option has met its last model. That's really not that much of a surprise either. BMW is building out a portfolio of sporty crossovers and electrified options. The latest M-specific machine to be developed, for example, is the XM. This one was done fully by the M division, and the last time M built an M-only machine, it was the iconic M1. So if you're a fan of manual gearboxes and M-badged baddies, you're going to want to scoop up one of these ASAP. The M2 could quickly become a collectible down the road if this news is true, and perhaps the value of older manual equipped M cars could start to rise a bit more sharply. E30 M3s have been expensive for quite some time now. E36 prices are still moving up. Both the E28 and E39 are only trending upward, and the E60 shouldn't be far behind as the idea of a 10-cylinder sports sedan is rather intriguing. So do you think M is really done with manual gearboxes? Is the new M2 going to be a milestone moment for a company that once used the tagline, the ultimate driving machine? Or is there going to be another M badge monster to come along and offer one last thrill ride with a stick shift bolted in place?